So just kind of a slow process. I don't know what I'm doing. So, uh, you know, some of it's trial and error. And uh, hopefully I don't error too much where it costs me more money. All right, good morning. Uh, as you can see, I, uh, I started a project yesterday. I started, uh, I get, was getting a code on my um, my def filter saying it was full um, I don't think it was full when I started to take it apart there was a fitting on here that was actually loose and uh, I think that was what was causing the, the, the code but since I had it all apart and I was halfway there I decided to go ahead and take it apart and uh, go get the filters cleaned anyway and um just to see how all this goes because there's about 150 they said they cleaned them when uh i bought the truck uh, so there's about 150,000 miles on the filters right now so that's what the def filter looks like diesel particle filter uh so there's two of them and there's actually three pieces and that's a cap in there and they all join together and they go in that hole right there now as I was taking it apart yesterday the, these bolts on here were broken so I got to fix that uh, there was a strap one of these straps here but it was on the this is the muffler right here uh, one of these straps here was down here as you can see see how it wore right there that was loose so got to fix that but uh, okay so we got the bolts in that bottom bracket down there so that should hold that for a while so this is what it'll look like with the three filters and I marked the filters to keep them in line make it a little easier when I put them back together so uh, you get an idea now we have new seals that have to go around uh, in the new holes there and they're just flat seals and then uh, we got our our uh, um, clamps big clamps right there so once we get it all clamped together and then we'll get it up in the hole and it'll sit in that little cradle right there we'll um, and then we'll get it lined up put the uh, the new um, the new sensors in and you can see the holes where the sensors go um, and I got some high temp um, anti seize to put in those holes there up to it's good up to 2,000 degrees so uh, should be good so just kind of a slow process I don't know what I'm doing so uh, you know some of it's trial and error and uh, hopefully I don't error too much where it costs me more money but um, anyway I wanted to learn how to do this because it's going to need to be done about every 150 200,000 miles and when I can get them out and have them cleaned a lot cheaper than taking them down to the shop so uh, all right uh, here I'll show you what the uh, gaskets look like so here's our here's our gaskets here and get out of the shadow it's our gaskets you can get an idea of what they look like and they'll go there's two in here one will go in each of the big holes there and then we have the smaller gaskets for the small holes so all right, let me see if I can get these gaskets in here, get the uh, clamps on there, and uh, see if I can do it without tearing it up. So talk to you in a bit.
Okay, after a little bit of uh, finagling and figuring it out, I found if I stand it on end, it's a lot easier to connect them than trying to connect them when they're on the ground this way. So I had to block it up because you can see that little bubble on the top, the same things on the bottom. And uh, I just had the clamps on there snug so that I can lift it up and roll it over in there. Um, I forgot to mark the position of the clamps, so I might have to move the, the head of the clamps either way. But uh, so anyway, that's what that looks like. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick it up, turn it sideways and put it in there. And I marked the front, that's the front of the truck. So that, that end goes towards the front of the truck. So, uh, and then you can see the marks that I put on there to line them up. So that should help. So, uh, so anyway, let me uh, get it flipped around and uh, we'll set it up in that cradle and uh, go from there. So talk to you in a bit. Okay, we got it up in there, and this is the problem with not really knowing what you're doing. Uh, I do a lot of stuff as trial and error. See those brackets right there? If I leave them right there, they're gonna be in the way, so I need to slide them up to the top. But if I slide them up to the top, the bolt is gonna be on the back side, and I want the bolt facing me. I want this part facing me so that I can tighten it down a lot easier. So what I'm going to do, this thing weighs, I don't know, it weighs about as much as a tarp. It's pretty heavy. So what I'm going to do is pull it back out and then I got to flip those, uh, those clamps around. So like I said, a lot of what I do sometimes is a lot of trial and error until I get it right. But the next time I do it, I'll know how to do it the right way. So I'm going to pull it back out, flip those clamps around and, um, and then set it back in there and then uh, I'll check in with you guys okay we got I think we're looking pretty good we got all the bands on as you can see this is one of the control modules that the sensors will go into these holes right here and then plug into this control model module now I've already took pictures so I know what wire goes where to what hole um, Everything looks lined up. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to crawl under the truck and hook up those two exhaust ports on the back side and the gaskets for those are right here. So, and I thought they were both the same, but one's bigger or smaller. So we got to crawl under there, figure out which one's which. Um, let me do that. Whoop, stepped on the power. Let me do that, get that hooked up, and uh, and then we'll go ahead and put the um, the uh, sensors in. So talk to you in a bit. Okay, we got the back hooked up. Now, all these clamps are still loose up here. The back is tight, so it's lined up the way it needs to be. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is uh, the sensors. And these are the sensors. This is the new one I had to buy. They're all the same. This was $140. But what I ended up happening was I chewed this uh, head up trying to get it out. So uh, I have some anti-seize and it's good up to 2000 degrees. So uh, it should be good. We'll go ahead and put some anti-seize uh, in these holes um, to uh, hopefully when time comes to do it again, we'll be able to uh, to get the um, sensors out. Because you gotta get the sensors out, plus if they ever go bad, being able to uh, to get them out. I ended up using a pipe wrench to uh, to get that out. There's the there's the pipe wrench right there. But yeah, it was a little, a little primitive, but uh, so anyway, what I'm gonna do now is um, go ahead, get the sensors, put all the sensors back in, get them plugged up, 
get this thing plugged up, main wiring harness plugged back in. At that point, we should be able to start it and make sure everything's working good. Uh, once we got everything working good, then we'll go ahead and tighten everything down and put the covers back on. So, uh, so let's go ahead and put the sensors back in and uh, check back in with you. Okay, it's been a couple hours. I ran into a problem. Um, the sensor that I used or that I tore up trying to get out, the reason it wouldn't come out is it was cross-threaded in there. And I didn't realize it until I went to try to put the new sensor in there. And I cross-threaded the first couple of threads on the new sensor trying to put it in there. But luckily my little hometown Ace Hardware store had metric tap and die. So we went ahead and retapped the hole so it's in good shape now. So it's good and then I redid the threads on the uh, the little sensor and I went ahead and cleaned out the other holes also and put the sensors back in um, I believe the reason they're so tight is a lot of carbon buildup so but anyway they're cleaned up now uh, like I said it's been a couple hours so I've made a couple trips into town to get the right things but hang on the sun's right there but anyway uh, hopefully from here on it should go pretty good um, I'll put this last couple of pieces on and we should be able to fire it up here in a bit okay we got everything almost back together and the trucks got dead batteries I uh, I must have left the doors open too long I've been messing with this for a couple days now um we'll get uh, everything is hooked up all the sensors Everything's tightened up, all the bands are tightened up, all the sensors are tightened up. What we're gonna do is, uh, we got the battery charger on the batteries. We're gonna charge it up, let it charge, and then uh, we'll fire it up before we put all the cover back on. Make sure everything looks good and uh, is doing okay. So, that's been my project. I still have a huge mess, but uh, I'll get that cleaned up here in a little bit. All right, that's it. We're going to the fair. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Okay, uh, I've been home. It's almost two weeks. We've been working on the truck a lot. We got a lot done. Let me show you, give you a quick rundown. Um, we got the DEF filters done. We got the uh, DEF doser replaced. We got the, the little filter for the DEF tank replaced. And then uh, one of my big, bigger projects was the generator. Uh, I'm reinstalling the radiator back into the generator. I had it, I took it out and uh, had it um, redone. Had a little leak in it, so I had that done. And then this morning, this is our next big project, is the fifth wheel. Now I have a aluminum fifth wheel. This is aluminum. Uh, and then I have a greaseless fifth wheel. And these are plates that go on the top. They look like this right here. So I bought some new plates and that's what I'm getting ready to do today is reinstall those new plates on the uh, fifth wheel. Now in order to do that I had to take the fifth wheel off because as you can see they screw onto the bottom of the fifth wheel. Little bolts. Oh hang on. I have one big mess out here so um, I did book a load. I'm leaving Sunday afternoon so I got today and tomorrow morning but give you an idea of that's what the fifth wheel looks like um had to pull these pins out and then uh lift it up and then up underneath is where the the screws are at so we're going to get it off set it on the ground so we can flip it over and uh and work on it and then these are the big pins right here that go in there it's like that i know i'm in the sun here and then they go in there like that. So we're going to clean it all up, make it look pretty, and um, put the new plates on. Uh, so that's the project for this morning. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. Oh, uh, I redid the brake chamber. I had a brake chamber that was leaking. So we put a new brake chamber on. Did that. So yeah, I've been, uh, I've been kind of busy just uh, tinkering with the truck this uh, last couple of weeks. And everything I've done, I've been doing myself. So, uh, and I am not a professional mechanic, so 
it takes me about twice as long as a professional but I do enjoy working on my truck myself so let me um, let me get the fifth wheel off find a safe place we'll set it down flip it over and um, get the new plates installed and then I'll show you what they look like so talk to you in a bit okay we got uh, one of the plates on that way you can see the difference between the two so you can see how it was all wore out right here they're starting to fall apart right there so this is the new plate and I don't know some kind of Teflon material but uh, I'm not too sure what the lifespan of it is um, when I got the truck it wasn't this bad it did have a little bit of this showing so I'm not too sure what the lifespan is but uh, it does the greaseless fifth wheel does keep it clean back here that's for sure um, don't get grease all over everything plus uh, don't get grease all over the trailer so uh, give you an idea of what everything looks like back here this slides so this uh, this is air actuated here it's got a cylinder and if you when you put the air to it there's a button in the cab it'll squeeze that cylinder together and you can slide the fifth wheel up or down but I always run my fifth wheel right dead center of uh, my tandems so you can see I know we're kind of in the Sun back here but all right uh, that's what I just wanted to show you what this looks like the new ones already bolted on and uh, we're gonna go ahead put this one on and uh, get it done um, and then uh, we're gonna probably have to run into town I had to buy some new cooling fans for the radiator and we're gonna finish up the radiator today get all my mess cleaned up um, so once I get the finished product all done mounted back up there I'll show you guys so talk to you in a bit okay you got the fifth wheel mounted back up on the truck looks pretty good nice and shiny till we use it so you can see the new plates on there uh, let's see what else is going on that's about it you can see well, maybe you can see up under there the radiator that I had to put in so I'm still working on that that's gonna be my last project um, I did the brake chamber fifth wheel redid the def clean the filters I think you guys see video of that uh, the only other thing I wanted to get to is uh, I wanted to try to uh, clean those headlights but uh, that might be something I can do at the truck stop one day or something but uh, all right get out of the sun here um it uh, it's time for breakfast it's early in the morning over here in Arizona so we're gonna go get breakfast go pick up my cooling fans and uh, finish up so talk to you guys in a bit 